I'm over I don't know what he does. Way. He's the uh, he he just he's here. The thumbnail As man. <laughs> thumbnail man. Asian invasion. He's over there. Both of them stream on Twitch. Both do YouTube. Wait, Wonderful wait. Do folks. your faces now for the thumbnail. I don't know what topic it's going to be, but we got to do. We're this, just this talking. Things. No, no, no. We're going right back into it, fellas. Seriously, what are you doing? He's doing thumbnail. We're doing the thing still. We're doing the thing still. We're doing the. Th I'm. I'm still talking I about this. I just realized, dude. He uh, never uses his own face in his thumbnails. Well, yeah, whose face is he using? Videos. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, his a few times. Videos. Exactly. When he does a reaction Well, I don't really video, watch his, his videos, face. so I'm sorry, but like... Well, like, why the you fuck don't have did you to. put your face yeah, in his actual videos. Actual videos? That's just weird, champ. I did watch Az's, like, like, uh, fucking, uh, Wuba videos. Fucking? You watched Az fucking? Why would you watch Az fucking? Hey, man, he put it up there. Az, why are you recording yourself fucking? If I watch you watch hey, people want to pay for it, then dude, if one of the well, homies right? is clapping and it's on video, dude, okay. I better be watching. <laughs> so so like, if I'm watching a reaction video, I don't mind if their face is there. If anything's like cool, it adds to it. Like thumbnail, I know I'm gonna see them. I know that's them. You know, if I'm watching a build video, I don't want to fucking see their face plastered <laughs> eating up one third of the thumbnail. I'm like, dude, I'm here hey, to yeah. look yeah. at like yeah, come on, dude. Man. Not like yeah, how many hairs are sticking out of your nostril. Okay, shitting in public restrooms, though, seriously. No one? Fuck no. Dude, None you're of fucking you. weird, dude. I, can, you're as, I don't want to poo-poo and, and, and people as smell my poo-poo. What the fuck? As back me up here. Dude, I will only do that if the alternative is dropping a nuclear shit, like, in public on the, like, the street. Wait, so you won't, you won't go into the a public bathroom if you're dropping a nuclear shit? No, I will. I... Are you? Are you? That's, if you that's have no choice, no, no. Yeah. Seriously, if no I can choice. hold it. I will okay, not wait, 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 use wait, wait, a okay. public bathroom to take a shit. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I guess I'm thinking of public bathrooms as like my work or something. Does that count? Even yeah. at work, see, okay, yeah. no okay. chance. I am okay, dropping it. No. I am. Okay, I am rooting that bathroom. You're talking that about room. your public <laughs> bathroom at work and home. Yeah, dude. I am talking about your public bathroom at work. I just realized one thing. Dude, actually. Taking as, a fucking shit at work is my more dangerous because work if they go clean, in and they recognize your pants bathroom. or shoes because you can see that shit, I'd be like, dude, fuck that man they just took a big ass me? shit and it's stinking there. And I'm gonna remember that shit. I, so, okay, mm. okay, exact scenario. I, I've had exactly that happen with a manager before. Roadblock where they were like, he uses and he the was public taking toilets shit. so much that when he goes to them again, it goes like, "Welcome back, Roadblock." <laughs> yes, like, I do. They, they know <laughs> me my ass. name. Like, it's scan my fucking name. Off, uh, by the way. No, so a so manager, right. a manager saw lid. me. I'm about to drop one. No, no, no so a manager, no. a manager asked no. me where I was, and I was like, "Where uh, would where, would you like to verify?" Like, I'm sure if you went in there and smelled blood, like, dude, dude, I'm telling you, I I don't care if it's a public manager like that. Oh, you well, it's like, wh where do you think I was? Wait, so I you told your manager to go smell the bathroom? Yeah, well, he was, I said I was, going, I was going to, I was taking a shit. And he was like, really? And I was like, go on. <laughs> go on. I took a day. I go on. You should, you should have just said that. yes. Yeah, I, said, well, like, yes. I was like, yes, if you would like to verify, go. And that's still, that's still kind of rude, you know, just saying. It's, it's like, yeah. I've been busting my ass all day. Not even that, it looks... Pun intended, it looks huh? The ass at <laughs> work, like, bust the ass almost, in the you know? bathroom. Mm. I dude, I'm just saying. I mean, Road is still younger Road. than all of us, dude. If you want, I will fly out to you and I'll install a bidet. It's not about and installing the bidet. You, it's it's about the you principle. Will it will Yo, change you gotta your watch life. out. He's you know probably gonna like you add know, a bad dragon that sticks out of it at like the last second when you're not expecting. You know what's even better? Those spray guns. You know those spray guns that are just hung. Yo, just gonna fucking reach out like this. Yeah, and start blasting dude. Yeah, Arabs, well get the garden hose. Then. What? Like, get the fucking garden oh, oh, dude. There was a guy who washed oh, his good. hands in the urinal at my work. He's a new guy, Excuse and he washed me? his hands in the urinal. How the fuck you do that? Wait, well, okay, how? okay. Road. The only reason you know this is because you watched him do it. Why no, would you watch no, 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 no. Why One of my managers. Somebody. One of my managers. Wa was like in the bathroom. He was washing his hands. He turns to the right and he sees this guy zip up his pants, stick his hands in the water, grab the urinal cake, <laughs> stick his hands back in the water, and then dry them off and leave. I, I, I would call that motherfucker like hell. I, no. I was hey, I was gobsmacked. Hey, I don't think he was taught how to wash his hands. I think he thought the water in the urinal. That's what we're, that's what the theory dude, we're working oh, with fuck, too you is. You don't even have to be taught. It's common sense. You pee in there. You don't I, put I your hands just, in the pee pee. I was just I, I I couldn't believe it. And when I 
Have trust you been me, to Minnesota night? Trust me, when no, I when I that would explain a, like a when lot. When he he walks by <laughs> are you me, saying Minnesotans like, are Ro, dumb. Dude. Like <laughs> he walked by saying. me, I smelled him, <laughs> and I promise you, it 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 had to be true. I swear to God, I just yeah. Okay. Anyways, that sorry, I had to let that one out. The, the one you we're shake on the his hand when you meet him. Hell no, hell no, <laughs> hell no. Yeah, but you drop a dookie in a public bathroom and let it everybody know It doesn't mean I go and shit. pick up the brown crayon and start drawing. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I mean, honestly, knowing you, you'd be like, that's fine. Dude, no. It's a public bathroom. No, oh no, that God. is, that's different. What but the dude, <laughs> get, a, get a bidet, it will change your life. I. It is the best investment a You man guys can make. just like water yeah. up your ass. Don't don't you start with me. What's wrong with water? It's not like fucking we're throwing bleach up there to yeah, wipe it that feels, shit. It feels better than fucking dry toilet paper scraping Literally. the poo poo off. And know. you're yeah. saving paper, motherfucker. You know the amount of fucking money you would save on toilet I, paper? I, yeah, I use toilet paper that to is, dry that the is, butthole. That is Dude, you a can get very some good four prospect. Ply toilet you paper right. Because you can afford yeah. that shit now instead you're of one right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I, th that's a very good prospect. And you won't have to steal the public bathroom toilet paper road. Think about it. Steal no, no, the ba don't public e bathroom toilet. What do you think this is You've COVID? What the hell? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what the hell? Is that actually a thing that happened? I worked at a subway during COVID, and I promise you that was what happened. Yeah, I would go in there. And I'm like, cool. cool. I know the shortest bathroom. was bad, but not that bad. No. Holy so shit. what the the so what the meta strat was for some was you take a pencil and then you'd start rolling it up on the pencil, and then you just leave. And you'd have oh, a yeah, full roll. Oh yeah, because they lock that shit, huh? Yep, like, you yep. can't take that shit out. Good old bit of TP. Save you. That that that. Your family's good for a week there, unless you got someone some demonstrous but it's fuck only like, like one me. Ply, dude. Workplaces have the cheapest fucking toilet paper. Yeah, Who like cares? I, I, you, you know what? In Europe, nobody had that issue with toilet paper. Back in my why, day. Why? Back in we my day. Days. Uh, dude, COVID was wild. Like, think like, dude, about that shit. I'm pretty sure some people, some places don't use bidets. They usually use a cup of water. And wait, you go. Wait, 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 wait. There's public that, places that have bidets in Africa. In Africa, yes. If you go to Middle East, you go to Europe. Yes. Okay, that's different. That's different. We're over here in the land of bleed and red and blue and and yeah. We I've never seen a public yeah. and, bidet and in my for life. Medical. Uh huh. It's America. Yeah. America doesn't have like. People that use bidets, they just use toilet paper for some. Yeah, fucking... there's a there's a weird thing now like that. that. Bidets are fucking I, amazing. I also mm. learned that like America was super behind on like like contactless like payments. Like supposedly like China was doing like you just tap like your phone or your like card. Dude, to the India's thing. big phone. on that, dude. I India's? watched uh, some videos. Yeah, what do you India's mean, dude? Big you go that. to Sam's Club and you can literally scan now your we, items. Now and walk you out. can, but apparently we were like super late on that. Like super oh. late on like contactless so like stuff. Apple so we were like Android. actually just handing money around, like like a bunch of like oh. heathens. Did for the you longest see the new time. thing with Cash? Apple, Ugh. where Apple was like, you can rearrange your apps anywhere, and everybody's like, brother, Android's been having that for oh, like, yeah, the yeah, last yeah, fucking yeah. ten years. Wait, Everyone, you couldn't do that with Apple? No, no. Had, no. Like, so with Apple, you had you always. So whenever you let's say you got a blank page and you put it down, you put it in the bottom right it would immediately go back up to the top you couldn't like choose where it goes yeah. so when they announced recently at this event that you could suddenly Are start you doing that serious everyone in the they got like a standing ovation to like to like the oh entire my thing and people what? and they everyone who like has used uh, like an android phone was like <laughs> I guess you, you can move apps bitches. now on Apple. What, like, what the fucking thing? Like? Dude, yeah, fucking the, the USB C cable. Was oh god. Also, was like half. Like the fucking iPhone Pro something had half the speed of like the Max one. Apparently, it wasn't even a full USB C. And then everybody's so excited about it. They're like, dude, this has been a thing for a while. Fingerprints. Dude, Apple when is fingerprint fucking came out smart on, at scamming no, no, no. people. Fingerprint <laughs> no, came out scam on people. Apple, dude. Everybody <laughs> yeah. was so excited, and they're like, dude, we already have fucking Face ID on Androids. Yep. <laughs> like, dude. No, no, it's pretty fucking funny stuff like that. Oh, can we can we talk about like Apple like charging like fifty dollars for a cord? Like, no, seriously. Dude, can we talk about Apple charging like three hundred, four hundred dollars for a fucking RAM stick, dude? No, the wheels. Wait, what? Okay, so okay, so let, let's let's talk about. It. <sighs> for those that can't see, I'm right holding a, an over expensive laptop. So upside down. No, it's, is it's, that a tablet? No, it's no, a, laptop. a laptop. It's a laptop. So it's Apple product, right? Yeah. Yeah, so so it's you a throw tablet. It away okay. The garbage. Got it. It's a tablet. Yeah. Right. Not quite. So Apple does. I will say Apple makes one of the best laptops on the market right now. Depending on your use case. Yeah. Depending okay, on your okay, use case. Okay, the okay. quality fair, is fair, actually fair, fair. there. It's fair, there. Fair. Um, yeah. if you're doing any type of like. 
production work like coding or anything like that engineering mm -hmm. etc this thing is a piece of shit just no i'm not even gonna try yeah for coding I mean, for editing and stuff for like compiling know. code and stuff it is not great oh no yeah, i've like seen people main, edit with it dude honestly, editing uh, industry, for a premiere it does really well like the stuff. industry for editing runs on a macbook for video make uh, mm. for music making it's on fucking macbook yeah yep it's all on there you sure that's not and just then product for placement gaming, in the industry? You know, kind of like how Adobe is the industry standard now, but that's because of how Adobe pushed for it so hard. No, uh, is it going to stay the industry no, standard no, no, with all no, their fucking bullshit they're doing now? No, it hasn't been industry standard for a while. Uh, oh, da Vinci like, I mean, has been popping out. You have so much out. free stuff. No, no, no. Too, what I mean, though, as in like how the music industry, you always see mm. MacBooks and shit. Like, I'm wondering if it's the same situation where it's because. Apple literally force their way in and be like, there's, hey, it's a few, it, there's we'll a few things with that. Keep featuring our so mm -hmm. one really interesting thing is to look at pictures of computer labs throughout the years. So if you look at computer labs, at least when I was growing up, so like 2003, 2010 like ish, they were littered with like Macs. Like, think about that. Like all they like you learned on a Mac, like that's so... Think about when you're going into like college and stuff and they're like, okay, you need to buy a laptop. It's like, I'm familiar with Mac, et cetera. I'm going to get an Apple product. They offer school, uh, back to school discounts, et cetera, student discounts, et cetera. Now what that's starting to become is actually Google. So Google and Chromebooks are infiltrating classrooms and getting start them started young. And I think what's going to happen soon is like eventually like fucking. Is that just because Chromebooks are hella cheap? Chromebooks are cheap, but they're, they're, yeah, it's just, yeah, Google. Yeah, because, because what, what I was really surprised, right, when I was in Denmark visiting my, uh, my uncles, mm. all the kids had tablets That's in wild. school, and all the kids were getting an allowance from the school. Fuck them kids. I didn't get a tablet when I was a kid. I, I had, a kid. I got a leapfrog. I'm frog. like, what? I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. The I kids are like frog. coming home from school. like an Apple tablet or what? No. Yeah. It was a fucking tablet, like an oh, iPad. Oh, private school or like? No. No, they, a lot of schools have that now, even even over really? here. The thing is, right, because uh, in Europe Dude, and especially Scandinavian. Like technology pro Scan school. <laughs> Scandinavian countries, like you pay a lot of taxes. Like tax is like through the roof. Have you been to the United and, States? Uh, <laughs> yes, I have. I don't know anything about European taxes, so I'm not even going to no, say No, but anything. I'm saying, like, the thing is, right, the re uh, reason you're playing for all these taxes is because there's a lot of things that are free. <laughs> Education is completely free. Medical is free. I'm looking at you. Right? Come on, Europe? <laughs> Let yes, me change Europe. that okay, real Europe, okay. fast. Sorry, I, I forgot to turn that off on my world slider while I was spawning in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, so so many, so since you're paying a lot of taxes, all of these things are free. And when you're paying taxes, like the the kids also get something back. And so that's why, like, if I want to have a kid, dude, I definitely want to send him to like the Scandinavian countries. But they aren't you fucked me. if you don't want to have a kid because you got to pay hmm? more? What? No, it depends. What do you mean? It depends on how much you're earning as well. No, no, no. Are you like, talking about okay, taxes? So you're saying that I got to pay taxes. Yeah. So yeah. like the kids I'm can pretty have a better don't you, life. At least like, in America, you still get like a tax reduction if you have a kid now. Yes, yeah, so like you, you like yeah. you have kids. Yeah, your taxes go down way. Like if your kid can stay dependent on you until like twenty four, do that. I'm doing that myself, dude. God bless. <laughs> I mean, what I can I too, say? Doc. Pulling my weight over dude, here. My fucking dad's like dude, cloaked in the success of my like parents' years, basement. He's like, dude, He's like, you better go and get every single fucking checkup, blood test, HIV, all that shit. Get that shit done so that when you turn 24, you don't got to pay for that shit when you get your own insurance. Oh, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. I'm on my dad's right now until, that. like, next year. Same thing with dental. Like, I got my wisdom teeth out, Dent except, like, the bottom ones. All insurance. I, I still need to get them out, but. I, I should been, go to a dentist. I haven't been mm. to the dentist since I think I was, like, seven. Yeah, you guys need to fucking go. You probably have yeah. some cavities and teeth that need I'm built like different I don't think so I think I, know, I'm, I kid you not even if a you roadblock rush, a day keeps there's the a doctor reason away. you're supposed to go every six months six Unless, months like, eat, six you got money for that you, you, they're, they're fucking crooks are you kidding you me you have insurance <laughs> fucking reason use that shit statistically if I was robbed blind every six months it wouldn't be any well, that's insane that's why you get fucking insurance my god they are insane
No Man, way. I'm just I'm just fine. You're trying to fucking be you're like crazy. I do I, okay, I do, actually have, to 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 I do actually, I actually have to go to the dentist. I do actually have to go to the dentist. I know that. Now like I'm also I haven't been to the doctor in 6 years so like but I do go to the dentist every 6 months. Doc, you should be going every 6 months. Why should I go to the doctor if I'm not doctor? Uh, dentist, dentist, you should get a, dentist, you should get a dentist, checkup dentist. once a year because like like um uh, like same thing with my aunt, right? She just had it where she didn't go to a doctor for like a year and now they just found cancer with her uh, breast cancer. Yeah. And it she's like it could have been avoided if I'd gone a year earlier. So like at least once a mm -hmm. year you go for a checkup so they can look at you and see if anything's popping up because yeah. cancer stuff it can be very like unnoticeable. Like it can just happen inside yeah, your body lumps, you're not you don't even know it's there. He's like wondering nights like, dude, huh? Mm. <laughs> Maybe I should go no, to the docs, doctor now. It's been like 20 years, either dude. reading or he's loading up Diablo. I'm not even playing any games. Shockingly, right? Now, As, now, what are you now. doing? As is playing gotcha, man. <laughs> he's he hasn't actually not. A single he's word, actually dude. Where's the VTuber, dude? I thought we had a whole VTuber. Oh, he's I'm streaming. streaming you forehead. Dude, why are you streaming this? Like, Yeah. Why? Well, you know we're supposed to do a podcast. Why are you, why are you streaming? Well, I can do both. Oh my Giga. god. Dude, you've been spending the last hour talking about bad dragons and babies and I just, like I, toilets and stuff. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just no, open and as you're a like, stream. guys, I need to leave at one. Is, 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 is Finny showing you the nuke bill that he was talking about earlier? Yeah, I'm trying to remake it and I'm just like, I can't see where the damage is coming from. So he sent me a oh. build and I'm like, okay, I understand the weapon, but the Gara, I'm still wondering where the damage is coming from. Because I have the is same blast time. like. The king now or what? The that damage doesn't... is coming from probably sure. the the uh, the damage <laughs> vulnerability. And you can still use viral, from... right? It's still a good option. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Where... Where's the damage vulnerability? Apparently, like, people were complaining, like, or one person in my chat was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to redo all my bills. I'm like, uh, I don't think so. I, I don't <laughs> think it's that bad. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna redo the ones I'm using. Yeah, ooh, people, ooh, ooh, ooh. and then there are people like, ah, you shouldn't use Blast, it's not good. <laughs> well, is it here to stay, or is it going to be changed? Yeah, it's here to stay. I mean, Blast, Blast? is very balanced right now. Okay. What's, yeah. like, the best one right now? Like, it used to be Viral, but... V no. Viral for what? Just in general. No, Viral is not general. Well, I thought Viral it's... was used for... No, it's situational. I mean, what? yes. But are you are you doing a slash viral build? Are you stripping armor with viral? You don't just mod viral. You I just to... mod viral for everything. Well, depending <laughs> really on the sure weapon, if it's slash and stuff like that. But like you can use blast though now, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, blast yeah, is yeah. fine. Yeah, just fine. God, <sighs> to be honest, and everything is weaker in Warframe right now. You can just one shot everything. Speaking of Warframe, I wanted to talk about this. I was about to Fuck say, it. yeah, Warframe versus. Destiny 2 versus the first Descendant. What's July 2nd. July 2nd, first Descendant is launching. I'm excited. It's I'm going to be glazing. playing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to that shit so hard. He's just glazing. Right? For, it's going to come way get, so much. Is that like Ajax? Is come uh, up from your face? You know, that hot type of well, thing. You know, I'm going to go in on that. Good lord, dude. You've got, you've got a whole... Fuck, I'm going to have to take time off work to play that shit. Oh, yeah. Who you've got nine is, days. Oh, Ajax. Dude, Ajax from First Ascendant. I thought that's who who you were throbbing at. Why the fuck would I play dude characters in a Korean uh, game with a lot of? Because why the fuck not? What's wrong dude, with dudes? Titties, man! All Brother. the hot characters from the fun, the fucking Freyna, Bunny. Fucking dudes, dude. Have you looked at, dudes? Dude, dude, have you looked at who was fucking dudes? Oh my god! Okay, I tell me this. Me. How do you look at boobs when the camera auto forces you to look at their butt when you're playing? That is true. That is actually yeah. No, well, that's I don't the one look, complaint. I don't, like, don't want to hear a guy shit. grunting as they jump. <laughs> no, the one complaint <laughs> that I have about the done? game is no matter what you do, the game forces you to look. Also, at the have front, you noticed you can't look at anything on the front? Like even if you want to look at their coat or a cool. Don't set, you play you Nike? Can't did, see it. did you just Nikkei? say cock? Nikkei? <laughs> you mean don't Nikkei, you play Nikkei? Nikkei? <laughs> it's fucking Nike with with double K. Um, yeah. Basically, first ascendant is Nike because as soon as you move. It forces the character's butt to face the camera. Like, That's it's hell impossible yeah. to move and be in combat with the cameras facing their front. It will exactly. always force So it doesn't, like, disappear, like, in gacha games when you go too zoomed in? No. It's no, a no, Korean no. game. It ain't Chinese. It's Korean, man. It's Korean. Like, you zoom in, the, the <laughs> Chinese yeah. They don't have a difference yeah. between yeah. the Chinese and Korean. You can lift it up. You Doc. see the panties and everything. Doc. When you zoom I'm a fucking in, degenerate. it uses yes. higher resolution textures. Really? 
Look at look look how excited yeah we're gonna be playing it now right they double yeah. literally also, that also, shit. can we talk anyway, about how like Wuba, I mean I think it's every gotcha game but like some of the titties don't have physics and some of them have titties t physics that titties. don't even need, are <laughs> yeah needed. because they don't have physics on on the smaller titties why would you have physics what? on small titties dude you the big ones are literally standing and they're moving how the fuck is that possible exactly you want know, you want to you you like, have there's a have different that, gravitational you know, that pool you want to have that shit, shit you know dude, <laughs> like, dude what the fuck are we talking about I'm, <laughs> you gotta you gotta have that jiggle I'm a guest. you know what I'm saying <laughs> Like, anyways, dude, you know there's this like, thing yeah. called breathing, right, Doc? <laughs> you know you're gonna get that. No, thing no, going. Please, no, no, don't, no. You don't like my titties? <laughs> no, I don't think I. I did not need to see that this morning. Fuck me, all good right, lord. Right. What about Destiny Two first? Destiny yeah, go on, go on, right, glaze so, more. All right, so time for some action. Not only glazing, but legit, like factual shit. <sighs> Destiny 2 just launched its final shape. Final cope. Uh, final, yeah, you say that. And I say that, but it, it actually slapped. It did slap. From what I've heard. From what I've heard. I, I played the campaign. You're the only one who has played the campaign. Yep. The only person Here. you know that has played the campaign. All right. I know a few people have played it. It's so, the first one. You're yeah, the only was, one I've talked to. You don't All have right. friends. <laughs> so it was a good campaign, right? It was, wasn't like the greatest story in the world. It was a decent story near the, like at the end, I'm not going to say much, but it did put a tear in my eye, you know? Really? Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Like I didn't expect it. I was like, damn, fuck. Damn. Apparently people like, cried in the Jade Quest too, and I started laughing. Man, I, fuck the Jade Quest. I, man, fuck that trash I'm not going to get into that shit, right man. now. I couldn't, Fucking, I, uh, dude. The fuck was that? Stop Correct, giving daddy birth all simulator? Day. Fuck Destiny 2. <sighs> but anyway, on top of that, I did the raid. Oh. Salvation's Edge, aka the Edge Raid. The edging, <laughs> where you edge. Yeah. No, hey, the that. whole the whole raid. <laughs> dude. The entire dude, raid. When I was doing that raid, dude, I, I was like hurt inside. Especially when I finished it, I I, I like I was like tearing up because I'm like Warframe could never, ever have this. Yeah, you posted that. You posted that. I saw that. Oh my god! It Didn't was we such have a good fucking. Why are we? Why fucking buggy ass motherfucking? Just shut up! <laughs> I knew that was gonna come out. Doc, Doc, the guy in the back, like. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, like, I'm the guy who's defending Warframe like a motherfucker. I'm like that Warframe yeah. man. I'm like, hey guys, I can play devil's uh, advocate if, we, if we're doing. Or, or, so what, yeah, so go for what, it. What do we? What, so what do we? What is the objective of this? Is is it like comparing How the two? Is one is better? No, 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 I'm not comparing this, it to Warframe. I'm just state? saying like. Like the, looking at the state of Warframe, it's just Currently? like you see, here's here's the thing, right? In Warframe, we have too much power and mm. nowhere to use it. In Destiny, you know what they said? You have all this power. Let me give you something hard to challenge you with that power. You know yeah, what? I heard, the, I heard it was away. the hardest raid to date. I heard it was the hardest yeah. raid to date. Um, like with all that yeah, power, they, people were still struggling. But people like, dying. did they change the mechanics, mechanics? Or how was it hard? As in, like, dude, did they just up the numbers? It's, or it's, how it's raid mechanics are also, dude. Yeah. Raid. The new raid. Do you, you have to know math and geometry? Yeah, I'm not playing Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> I've done enough for Colin. Dude, the fourth encounter, you have to uh, you basically you're split in two different dimensions. Doing arithmetic. You, uh, you, yeah. So Here, in the other dimension, you have two dim dimensional shapes. People outside of the dimension, outside of the dimension, have three dimensional shapes. So you have to like interchange these two dimensional shapes to form three dimensional shapes, and your fashion matters. Really? Yeah, because the people in the other dimension are going to be uh, are going to die, and then the people in the other dimension have to find your dead ghost and put put it in a uh, this this fucking pedestal to revive you. And only the people who are dead can see the other person who is trying to revive the other person. So communication yeah, is important, and you gotta remember shit. Timing That's is also important. Though. Yeah. Because like, you I know when I think of Warframe it. hard, I just think of them upping the fucking level, and that's not that the, that's that's they're calling it. So, so that's the issue that a lot, a lot, and a ton of uh, looter shooters run into is exactly that: is that difficulty comes from larger health bar, fatter enemy, or whatever, basically, and it just more bullets. Bullet sponge is what it's called. The it's like official stupid. term. Yeah. Yep. I hate yeah. that. And it's it is. Like, it's currently how Warframe is currently built. That is, 
that is the, basically the scaling of difficulty is that level caps are considered hard because the end number gets They're larger. They're not fucking hard. They're not even hard. People They're have been, and time yeah. consuming. Dude, yeah. we've been one shotting level nine k, level ten k. Exactly. Like it's not hard. Um, what the fuck? No, I, and I people agree. use that to justify and validate that in, what they're in doing. Terms also, is level cap game. is something we had. There's not even part of the fucking game. It's not that yeah, they yeah, put it's, that it's, shit yeah. in. Yeah, it's such a niche part. It's a very niche part of the game. Um, and at this point, is more. I'd say there's more people doing level caps to get a thumbnail or said say show how this build does at this level than people dude. doing it for a point. Um, yeah, you if, gotta build that content. If we're talking what about the end game, yeah. it, there's no competition. Destiny takes that like not even close. Oh yeah, hands down. Warframe currently for an end game has a complete void. Like yep. it's not even it's uh, anybody. Like you, there's there's plenty of stuff you can find Wait, to do. You, heard, Rode? you want to know something funny, Rogue? Sorry. What you make it, dude? Fashion. No, that shut up. No. Stop coping. No. Here, that's, let, that's let, let, exactly let, what it is. Let, it's let me like... cut you off. <laughs> can I cut you off for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's 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 adding on to that point. So, uh, like a couple of days ago, I had a stream title called "We Have Too Much Damage and No End Game." So someone came in and was like, "Didn't we What's have that talk on the podcast?" No, Wait, we didn't. I thought we I thought we did. No, we I we talk we talked about it. You know, Before a on, uh, okay. Yeah, I thought we, I thought we did. I was like, I thought we, I thought that was a really good conversation. Me and you had, yeah, then. yeah. Because I saw you make, I saw you. I didn't know if the video you had about it was like kind of about that topic because I haven't watched it yet. But yeah, yeah, I have. So someone asked me, "Can you explain Endgame in like us like two sentences?" I'm like, I don't have to say two sentences. I can just say two words: Destiny Two. And that mm. guy got upset. It's like, what do you mean? Like, I'm out of here. I'm like, see, you're not accepting. It's like they're completely different games. Exactly. They are different games. But if you want an example of what Endgame is, look at Destiny 2. Race, like, I don't get dungeon, that. It's like good fucking like, content that actually challenges you for all the stuff that you've you exactly. Know. It's it's a it's it's a difference of Challenge? making what the fuck, man? Making des making enemies seem and feel tougher by like just throwing health on top versus mm -hmm. taking the time to craft something like a raid. Taking the time to make mechanics that make you think, make you challenge, not a bunch of hand holding. It took them mm -hmm. thirty what was it, thirty hours for like the streamers to finally figure out how to do the raid and everything. The people who finished it, the, yeah. the first team that finished uh, 30, did it. around thirty right. hours. It took thirty hours. Twenty twenty of something hours. It. Yeah. Like seriously, that that's that's Dude, insane. They have a smart motherfucker in there doing fucking. Yeah, ass. yeah. But still <laughs> it's like it's 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 what for me I thought that's what they were gonna do with the Archons. I thought the Archons were going to be a... I, I, genuinely. I, like, I know everyone's laughing Dude, right now, but like... How long did it take to make a one-shot Archon... Uh, uh, Archon I, okay, so let, okay, let me clarify. Let me clarify. Day I was, one. I was not... I was not expecting, like, a full-on raid. I was expecting... I knew they were going to be, uh, like, heavy in health. I'm not saying you can't add health yes. and make an enemy, like, a health bar. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I was expecting there to be like f like okay, there's the damage phase at the beginning, and then you can't damage them, and then you have to do go do some mechanics, like something as even simple as as all four of the people within the squad have to go step on a pressure plate, and then sh then you can shoot at him or something, you know, mm. something that's as like simple most, as that. That's like one of the most basic things. In exactly. As well. We didn't even get that, and I was. Utterly... It's like here's some sentience. Yeah, yeah. Kill them so you can damage me. Yeah, we got a mob and what phase. Are they gonna... We got a mob like, phase, and I was just like, "What? What is? What? What is this? Yeah. What is this? No, right, like, so... the thing with Warframe is like Warframe, the community or people. I mean, I'm just basing this off on what I hear or see yeah. from chat. Yeah, is how they're like, dude. We need another game that has competition with Warframe, so it can push it up, and they have like they get their shit together and like. They they strive, basically you know, like, our because first companies Senate. and yeah, like, you know, us streamers, we're July friends, 2nd. but at the same time, you're kind of like, oh, I could do this. He's it's a friendly this, competition. This. Friendly, it's it's yeah. competition. And then when you compare that shit to Destiny Two, they're like, oh, how could you compare the Destiny Two? But it's like Dwarfheim doesn't like being compared. Destiny's to Destiny a bad 2. game. Here, here, this, 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 this is the quote that I've always seen. Destiny's a bad game. Why is it a bad game? Because you have to pay for it. Yeah, I get are that. you stupid? Well, are there you is, fucking there is the console well, you have to conversation realize a lot of people that Warframe are probably the younger audience who can't afford that. Uh, yeah. So, no, being unable to afford a game is fine, but calling a game bad, bad because you have to pay for it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, look at all these other games that you pay for. See, it's like, oh, it's yeah, like, but no, no, every like, year what, you have to buy a new expansion. Tell them, it's like, ask your parents, where the fuck did they get their games from? 
back when they played games. Exactly. Game, live service games outside of MMOs didn't fucking exist. But like, back then dude, for them. the dude, shit World I'm afraid of, of is that... how first ascendant for when it while. comes out, they're gonna be like, oh, you can't compare that with World War Warframe. It's oh yeah, you abs- mm. of course it's not the same. Yeah, you but can't compare you can it because, because it'll be better. No, you can't. That's what because, I'm saying. Because it's like, it'll be better. You can absolutely compare because them. Because it'll be better. Like, oh no, no, no you can't. Co- you can't compare them, Doc, because it'll, it'll be better. No, <laughs> don't say that. As you're, you're, you're gonna don't get that him, mob man. after you. But no, legit, no, I can legit. Take me- the heat. That's fun. Yeah, as and I did play the beta, and I'll have to like here. As how did you feel about the 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 last bosses that we fought in First Descendant? I know Boss one of them was or? any of them, like from the the de- 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 demolisher. What's his name? Destroyer or whatever. Destroyer is a demolisher. What was it called? Okay, are you talking about the Titan fights, like the void intercepts? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the 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 Wait, giant. Do they have the like a real one? setting now, or is it still like the last like one was Frostwalker, which was the yeah. one I mulled about, not because oh, the yeah, was, encounter we were, we were was molded, bad, yeah. but because the mechanics implemented were badly done. Like the embers mechanic that could fall off the map and get stuck in holes. There's no visual indicators of them anywhere. They're tiny yeah. as fuck, and you need every single one of them to complete the mechanic. Yeah. So that's less of an issue of um, uh, ember mechanics is a bad idea versus the way you implemented the ember mechanics is dog shit. The one boss fight I liked was that the hangman. That was a good one. For me, Wait, isn't the. For me, the longest time with Destiny, the issue with paying for DLCs, and I'm sure mm-hmm. along with everyone else, was I know you, you already know what I'm going to say is th- yep. when they'd sunset content. That was absolutely oh, yeah. unacceptable. That yeah, that, that that alone, that, I agree like, with. Yeah, that alone. I remember for the first time I learned about the, like, all right, guys, we're removing this expansion. I was like, you're fucking what? You what? <laughs> you you not only not only did I pay for it, you guys spent all this time making this, and you're just Getting rid of it. What mm-hmm. the? F- what is the major yep. malfunction of it? Like was I get. The, was the expansion exp- uh, like uh, disturbing a storyline that they had? Or it's, what? It's, what? No, 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 no. It was. It was storage Sorry, reasons. The- it yeah, was storage and uh, engine reasons. Yeah, the, 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 those like it, the big issues. Us on PC can probably download it, but imagine there's a few other PC players that can't. Consoles as well, so you want to mm-hmm. hit that broad market, but still, but that's gone now, thankfully. The game is yeah. 300 fucking gigabytes, which I believe on the lowest tier of this, like this Xbox Series S, um, you actually would only download Destiny 2, and you'd mm. be you would not be able to download anything else other than like fucking Netflix or something. What about COD Cold War? That was 300 gigs. That's like, not Cold War. That's that's uh, Black Ops 6 that is coming in at an off- eye-watering 300 gigabytes before DLC. Okay, was Cold War 200 then? Because I remember there was one that brother. was like 200 gigs and people were like, what the fuck? I downloaded Cold War. I think it was like 160. Warzone. Apparently Warzone, which is a fucking game. It's just a fucking, um, what is it called? It's a Battle Royale, right? And yeah, you drop Warzone in, I guess, yeah. And that show was like 200 fucking gigabytes. All I know is that all apparently the reason shit. was because they wouldn't remove like old assets from the previous games and they just kept building on top of it on the engine mm-hmm. and shipping it with like unused shit from previous games. Um, so how it works for COD currently is on the <sighs> PlayStation 5, uh, for what you were asking as Cold War was about 255 gigabytes on the PlayStation 5. Shit. Isn't that a short and campaign too? It's not I about just the feel campaign. Like that's really bad compressing because there are it games is. that run in 4K that are not anywhere even remotely close to that. El- all of Elden Ring, including now Shadow of the Erd Tree, Elden Ring's base game, I believe, was around 60, 60, 60, 60, about 70 gigabytes. Shadow of the Erd Tree, the newest expansion, uh, is about 15 gigabytes. Yo, you so, know people are fucking molding about that expansion yes, so hard right yes, now. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. It's as, funny as shit. Oh my god, it's it, so it's funny. A f- it's a few things. So I, I think some of the complaints are valid. I I, I pl- I've played, I believe, eight hours on my first day through, and I'm almost. I don't think I'm almost done with it, but I, I, there's still a lot to go. But I've played quite a bit, and I can see what people are saying about some of the stuff. I think other stuff is just like, I don't know what the fuck you were expecting. Um, <laughs> one hand, it's. it's- Oh, God. The Warframe situation of like we have full builds, give us a DLC so we can curb stop it with our full. Oh, back build. to I guess like, let's, no, cir- let's circle back. No, we can talk about Erd Tree later. Let's circle back to the Warframe thing. I think I was gonna say because Doc, you mentioned the community. I think this is this is gonna be a real interesting 
not take, I think a lot of people agree with me, but I don't know how many people are willing to say it. I think part mm -hmm. of the issue with Warframe is us. Mm -hmm. Not us specifically, but the community. <laughs> Fuck you. The fuck community, you. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> you said fuck the it. same thing in my video, yeah. We, the community as a whole, I'm are not part a of the community. huge part of the issue. I'm not, again, I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not saying any names. You know, here, here, I, I no, brought up, I, I helped, brought up, I helped them improve the game and they instead send warnings back. Yeah, that's not, funny not even shit. not even the point I'm making. I'm just saying, as a com as the community, like asking for hard content and then turning around with something like sixty eyes, being like, "Nerf it! I want to kill it." It's like Yo, you. I fucking yeah. love sixty eyes. I yeah. I like what no, sixty eyes represents. Pussies, I don't man, think sixty eyes fucking, is a good boss. It's not a good I, that, boss, but it was uh, it's an awful and, boss. No, and, and, and no, no. It's it's a decent boss. Mm. As no, here let, let me finish. Yeah, it's a decent boss from what they've been releasing so it's a cope yes. boss but compared to the fucking archon hunts which are absolutely dog shit dog shit right the whole fucking damage attenuation is such a dog shit mechanic i'm going to re be repeating that word quite a lot mm -hmm. but the way that the 60 eyes had you move yep played a huge role in what the game actually is it's about movement and shooting so that's the yep. one thing i liked because it, it didn't it incentivized Not players standing there to fucking dodge incoming attacks i'm like oh, my mithra skin is gone the nerf the de i can't shoot the yeah. well, so this is the, shut the fuck up this is where i see the hypocrisy of it because people will be ah. like what do you love about warframe <laughs> The parkour, okay, but like, where does it ask you to use it? I just like using it. Okay, here's a body yeah. hard ba boss fight where you want to move around and parkour. Fight See, is too hard. That's where I knew the community does not even know what the fuck it wants. Mm. Is when no, they <laughs> what was that? What, what is that? The boss that they took the levels down, right? Like because it was too hard. People pride themselves on the parkour, but they treat it as a trophy on the shelf, and they mm -hmm. don't use it much in the game Listen, except to get to extraction. Everywhere. Because there is nothing in the game that challenges us to yeah. actually use our parkour to fight. Exactly. And um, then when they finally that's bring in the that part shit. That I hate the most. That they have <sighs> such a good movement system. And there's literally nothing in the game that actually asks us to be like, use what you learned and beat this challenge. Wait, with also, was it a movement system order... by accident too? Like they didn't yeah, it actually was. implement it? It was just a, like a bug. Yeah. And they just so, certain, certain parts of it, yes, yeah. Yeah, and you know what else? They even destroyed the movement system by removing Void Dash. I don't know You're if they so destroyed it, but that? yeah. That's, I'm fucking mad about that There's tons every of people mad about day. that, though. <laughs> Holy there, there's certain fuck, There's certain things that, that I like about Void oh, Dash, and there's man. certain things I like about Void Sling. I, I, kinda, I don't like anything about Void I like certain things about Void Sling. Fucking garbage. I like Void it. Void Dash is, was perfect. Do you know that meme with fucking Homelander? God, it's perfect. <laughs> I, yeah, every funny. Last, I, I, like, I personally I, detail. I, I can like, enjoy things there's... about Dash and Sling. I, I, I found oh, some things oh, yeah, I enjoy yeah, about you... Sling. All right. Oh, here. Well, why? Why? What's? What do you like about? First uh, thing, like Void entering Sling. back into Warframes is a lot faster with the melee than it That's was before. Void Sling. It came with there Void is, Sling. I'm counting that with it. There it, is came, one, it came after Void Sling. No, it there came is with one it. very very interesting about Void Sling that I think is good though. What did it? Dashing backwards yes. with Void Dash was fucking cancer. Yes. That too. That was what that's would never respect the angle that you actually had the Wait, camera. Wait, didn't they give the reason I might be wrong sideways. here? No, 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 but like the, to, you, they you, made you, Void Sling so that like, it was side dash side. was really messed no, up. No, no, no. You know what they did what the reason they said about Void Sling? Because it was better to control. Better to control, and then it I think... It ain't fucking better to control. What the was, fuck, There was man? something it's else slow. that I remember. Doc's right. There was something else, if I remember right, about how, like, like client-side versus blah, blah, blah. I know that Void Dash mattered depending on the ping you had, but Void Sling is client-side, so you don't have delay or anything like that. I didn't have Void Sling, and I think that's one of the reasons they did it. Side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Transfer... You know what's even worse momentum. now? Auto melee. Sorry, I'm, I'm cutting melee. you off. Dude, auto fucking dog shit melee. Put a fucking toggle on that shit because every time I want to transfer it back into my Warframe using melee, I'm like, can't fucking stop. Do that sound again? It sounded like a spray gun, like a sprinkler going at. <laughs> okay, fucking stop. Like stop it. You know what's even worse on Titania? What the fuck, man? You know oh, the funny thing is you can air. talk about this all day, and there's Warframe yeah. Andes that will still be like, dude, it's great. It's great. They've been releasing it good content. It's great. You don't need to change anything. Well, why you guys? The game is. I bad. think it's You're fine to enjoy certain parts mm -hmm. of the game and everything, but blind defense of a game just because you love the game is not good for mm -hmm. the game. Yeah. At yeah. all.
nothing's um, fucking perfect. No, no, and I don't think we should expect it to be. But also at the same time, treating people who criticize the game like they're like the devil, instead mm -hmm. of being like you know maybe 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 the criticism yeah. isn't the most valid thing, but maybe it's because it, you just the want way... the game to be better, or yeah, you want it's, it's, it's coming from a good place. Like it's it's how criticism should be. I'm not calling the people who made it stupid. I'm not here, calling here. them incompetent. I'm just like Dude, I don't you think shit this on the hit. game if you didn't love it, right? No, the it's thing just is, like no, fucking rogue. your friends. You know, if your fucking friends an alcoholic. A random person wouldn't give a fuck. They'd just move on about the day, but you'd be like, dude, you, we gotta fix your shit up. You no, beat the shit out of him. Why the fuck are you drinking and wasting your <laughs> I life? I mean, you're still fixing Like, you don't, you don't need other. rehab. You're gonna it's like with beat Warframe. the shit like, out of you. You love the fucking game. <laughs> you want to see it do better. That's but exactly. Like, the, the people that think that we criticizing it and offering... See, here's the thing. You can criticize, but like mm. there are a lot of people saying, oh, this sucks. Now, when you ask them, why does it suck? I don't know. It sucks. So if you, you have know the no opinion topic. or, or uh, ways to fix that thing, then don't fucking say anything. Like just because you don't like it, and but you are not offering any reason to why you don't like it, then why the fuck are you even saying like you don't? And like then it? when you right. get people that go like, "Why are you not making more content for this? Are you gonna cover this or that?" It's like there's nothing to do with it, and you guys don't give a shit about it anyways. Um, for me, I think the I think the newest <laughs> like... quest is a great example of like criticizing the game. Um. I've seen a Pregnant lot of people. Simulator. <laughs> yes. For me, the I think the quest was a big miss. For me. Oh yeah. I, I I don't I don't think it was great. I could see how people enjoyed it though, because I think it had the outline. Yeah, because they have a pregnant fetish. Uh, no, like, no, no, no. Here. <laughs> I think it. I think it hit a lot of the strings of an emotional quest. Like it hit mm -hmm. all. It checked the boxes, but there was nothing. There was no build up. It was far too short. For what it was, and it, there was no build-up. Yeah, Certain things just it fall flat for me. VA. But a bad Sounds cliffhanger. Hot. Not even the, the cliffhanger. I'm not VA. even. I, I think it's fine that also, they. Also, I didn't a even fucking get the story. No, that Why was the, the like, most It was so random though. I saw. I was just like, we're done. Wait. So I don't know. The I, thing I didn't like about the quest was the starting menu when it said that you have to be aware of what did it say. Um, yeah, the, no, that does no mother. There was an awareness, and I'm like, brother, it's not even that. It's not bad at all. It's like I thought. Um, like, it, it might elicit some know, stuff man. for it, people who have had those experiences. I think that one is fun. I think yeah, that think that's, that's that's them being sensitive to like issues like that that are my serious. My issue but is what was more the just exact, the execution like, of the quest is poor. Basically, um, if you're a pussy, don't fucking play the quest. Amazing. Though. I wouldn't say that, but not right. exactly. <laughs> no, that's exactly what. Yeah, no, trauma pussy exists, don't. But like, no, it was it was yeah. about it was about like child loss or like etc. Um, because Jade does spoilers. Well, the TLDR is what happened to Jade it's after. Over. Yeah. What, uh, what the? F I, don't know, I wasn't even fucking paying attention. Is she and dead? There yes. are people. So that is that... Stalker's kid, right? By the way. So why the oh, fuck God, she I died? So. Um, we don't know how the fuck this works because lore-wise, there's <laughs> lore -wise, like explanations. It, it's an absolute disaster. I think. It should not be. It should not be a one-to-one -one translation to like after Warframe situation. So. It technically still doesn't make sense. I think this but quest the fuck it is a one to one though. to one. There, that's the part that doesn't make sense. Yeah. So what? The because we can't fuck Warframes. What the fuck? How so, stalker get to well, fuck the Warframe? Was before she became a Warframe. Yeah, that was. So the implication was was that she got when when but Warframes are dead. No, 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 no. They're not. So you can. No, uh -huh, the Titania cool. quest proves that she got put into it, like the basically the forest, etc. Wait, does. Titania? Anyway, I, I'm, I, they're not dead. They're not dead. Okay, not all of them. Yeah, so, no. the implication. They're alive, motherfucker. The implication okay. is is that um she basically became like that while she got while she was pregnant. She if got you listen, fucked before becoming a warframe. If you listen in the quest, basically uh -huh. between her and Soren Stalker, basically they're like, "This is like this is this is bad. I'm pregnant." Like. They are not gonna be happy about this, like the uh -oh. the Oricon wait. people. Okay, wait, like, wait, wait. One question: Are you wait, saying why? that? Wait, no, one no, second. Was Jade, be pregnant? The, all of wait, this Jade and sense? Soren are are Orkin or what the fuck? Yeah, are they? that's so At, yes, it is. The ass pull though is how the kid also became like this 
you that's not like even the biggest with, thing that for part, me no that part literally doesn't make sense that part is a complete they're gonna act. explain that away with some other shit wait, like the, so that's wait, not what, what i'm worried about? about like the kid is orkin slash warframe or what uh, he's, he's a, it's a warframe we d oh. we okay we, have we no don't fucking actually idea. know because that's what i mean about it's a cliffhanger not in the sense of an end episode cliffhanger imagine mm -hmm. you just take any show and run an episode but halfway through the episode you just randomly cut Dude, it all out like, is i better be able to play that kid as a that's fucking how the warframe and go ended. around the slapping. only thing and that's I what took i have from the that issue quest? with how the quest ended the only thing I took away from that quest was the baby was cute. It was it was a little cute little thing. Again, did you know? choose green or red? I chose green. I thought it would look the best. I, what? Uh, for, so you the biggest the color of the baby when you did a name a, name when you it. named it or That's or it. this or what do you know Orion or uh Sarah I thought that was cool actually. I thought that was actually yeah, something serious. that they could I, use I, down I chose the line. Orion. That's I chose like, Orion. Oh, that stalker's kid because you could use red if it's for stalker or green for Jade. I don't think it's that serious. I I I chose uh Orion because it was. Yeah. Like Sirius was a stupid name. Um. So no, but the issue I more <laughs> have with dude. it, <laughs> Jesus Christ, is yeah. I think this quest would have worked way better as a like a like a backwards like you know like like uh. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, I just realized. One sec, one sec, one sec. Again, isn't that the second sentient Warframe? The second sentient Warframe, which what, one? Umbra? Jade. No, the baby. The baby. And we, don't know. As we well. don't know anything about the fucking baby. Like who the fuck yeah, who who's controlling the warfare? So not even not even not even that. For me, the biggest thing I don't understand is <laughs> this is implied that they this was before they became warframes. Old war. So she's been okay. pregnant for two hundred to six hundred some odd fucking years. Damn. Like well, think I about that. That was because she didn't have her. her she had, her energy kept getting depleted because they're supposed to live forever. But the no, and they never explained that is how their exactly. energy was fucking no. getting. Her energy was getting depleted somehow. Yeah, the jade she didn't light use or an something. energy pizza. I think she was just she had her like uh, fourth ability active for too long and didn't I, have enough efficiency. I I I had no f I have no fucking idea <laughs> how oh, man. like. Like for me, it was like I either there that's was like some monster no or something spores that was left. sucking our ability and we farm. defeated or something. No nanospores to crowd feats us. Either either it's the fucking longest foundry time, or it's just like <laughs> literally nonsense. Yo, he didn't he didn't pay the fifty fucking plot to like <laughs> like seriously. Oh, the geez. other reason why the fuck did Stalker come after? Okay, for other thing. Stalker being able to just walk into our fucking ship. Exactly. What? Why doesn't he do that all the time? That's if my he really thing. wants to. If he wants to kill us, he can just do that. Because he literally so just much, walked up to my operator. There's so much stuff like that that makes me plot read like holes. it re plot holes. It makes me read like this was like thrown together because it's like. Mm -hmm. Stalker gets to point A to point B with like no in between. It's like D U is like again. They went down the checklist. They hit all the mm -hmm. points. They don't care how he got there or whatever. I was saying like during one of my streams, like I think it would have been great if there was like an in between there where there was a mission where he infiltrated our ship. Whether we're mm -hmm. on a mission and our landing craft's just there, bro, that made sense. That would have made that sense. That would have been a little bit more longer in the quest. Bit of padding, maybe you could have argued it didn't. I I think it's stuff like that is really important to me because it's like mm -hmm. it shows they care how a character gets there, and in this you know, quest. You know they just seem like they wanted shit to happen. and You know what I feel just, how this quest is? This is Lightfall in Warframe. I don't know if I'd dig it. Lightfall was an entire expansion people waited a year for. I don't think I'd take this quest like nearly as seriously. Like if I realized I know, if, still, if, if this, yeah. if, if this was 1999, this fucking shit, yeah. if this was 1999, like if this was the quest that we got for 1999, I would be appalled. Because they'd like hype this up Yo, for a whole been. year. They better fucking cook with 1999. I, I swear to God. Literally show off, the, off what but, they've see, shown already. I think it's going to be pretty good. But I think the cinematic I, 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 with the new lighting and stuff was really nice this time. Personally, I think the like, cinematics are great. I did, like I, I think the, the music, actual like cinematics, like, music, yeah. lighting, all that stuff as usual is great. I I thought it was nice. But the mm -hmm. other 50% was. But, um, but again, it it suffered with the same thing that the end of the new war did. It was just 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 fucking just bombed through the quest. Like no no that, no care about how we got there. The I would have I would have found the corpus lady's transition to being like don't shoot the kid way 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 more like believable if there was an, even a hint a hint of hesitation like when she saw him she saw him carrying something in her, his arms obviously. Mm -hmm. 
coming yeah. out of Uranus, and she still was like, blast I mean, the fucking what? thing. Or even before that being like, I mean, a, he was, he was far. I mean, it was dark. He was yeah, far. I give her that benefit of doubt. But, like, but yeah. she I'm noticed saying, it, and then she stopped. And that's, then she moved. That's what I find that's, is complete, like, nonsense. We're talking about a faction here on that that has not specifically her, again, but entire <laughs> faction that is basically disemboweling people for limbs because they can't pay taxes intentionally you can't do that with kids man kids we gotta protect them oh fuck yeah but right the, here's like not but, everybody in the corpus on, wait, 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 wait. is bad but I'll, remember but, oh, no 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 hold on at the same time yeah. two minutes before that moment in the quest she's like she's called in the sisters of parvos and she even says we need to we can't fuck this up we literally like they don't give second chances basically she's getting sent off to the spice mines because she suddenly had a change of heart that came out of it felt like nowhere. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm mm -hmm. saying can we have at least a small bit of build up to that point? Mm. This yeah. sudden the sudden turn the gun off, was, we're all gonna have too, this emotional moment. Yeah. Exactly. It came out of nowhere. So for me, that part that everyone loves fell completely flat. It felt like complete crap for me. Cause Dude, I was just like how I was oh, like, what, what dude, is happening? I, dude, I, I never even, like, looked that deep into the story like you guys do. It, I didn't even I realize, didn't. like, I, I just, just fucking, I, know, I was like, no, what the hell is happening here? No, I just, like, thought about it. I was like, yeah, how did the fucking stalker get into our ship exactly. like, without us even, like... Like, there was no point A to point B. It was just literally he's there. I was just like, are you serious? I, I, I like, I genuinely... And being fucking useless, as always, was uh, very nice. I didn't hate the quest. I didn't love the quest. I have literally no feelings towards the quest because of how it just felt empty just because there was no there was no it just didn't feel structured it just it was disappointing it just didn't i guess tie the fucking loose things together no for me i felt it was a waste of time the only thing that i actually liked about the quest that the baby was cute the baby was very That's cute it. the baby was very yeah. cute i won't lie there like there was yeah. again there was stuff i enjoyed about it like i said i thought the music was great i thought yeah. i thought like seeing a bit of stock like stalker having a layer for some reason i was just like that makes sense all right cool but like, yeah, like it, it 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 missed so many marks. I think in terms of like a cohesive, mm -hmm. put together story. And and when I say that Warframe's lore is the most convoluted shit, people lose their minds. So it's like, no, it makes sense. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It makes sense how once you we, listen to the twelve hour video. Yeah. How do Wasn't I get to this point? Of Why of like am I here? The whole lore? Why are they here? Um, it it tackles a lot of complicated concepts eternalism in and of itself it is is a total no, no, like no i'm talking about like playing the game you like you don't really get stuff because no they, you have like to every time for it yeah they add random like if you, if you play the the quests in order you're still gonna be lost in um, some and in, 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 also in why did orkin not want warframe to have is it they don't want there to have like I I'm sure I'm sure there's some reason people like that again that uh, I don't I, I can't think of one I'm not the biggest I dropped off the lore train for Warframe like five years ago six years ago or something just because I was like I was took a break in the game until, until you guys think this was, uh, this I, I don't I don't want to get in trouble but like mm -hmm. you think they made this quest to satisfy the fucking uh, apparently there's a, like a whole like whole thread of people who want like pregnant chicks in Warframe I had no There's idea. Whole thing about I it. doubt it. Yeah. I, I wonder how you know about that one. <laughs> okay, Doc, Doc's the, this is the creator of that post. I don't. Okay. I don't think De made. The, I think. I think this was a thing that. Almost a filler. I think it was made in part because of a filler, but also at the same time, it was just. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really. I'm really curious. For like, like 1999, dude. Like the kid comes into play or something. He's going I, on. I don't think so. The gacha game. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, 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 I'm curious, really, like, the development thing of, like, was this something they were really passionate about making? Would they just, like, we need a cinematic quest, let's tackle the stalker? Like, it, it felt very, it felt very rushed, and it felt very random. I don't think Warframe itself, even, or DE, does know the half the lore. Because they, aren't they just making it up as they fucking go, right? I'm pretty that's sure what it, that's what it looks like. Um, yeah. I don't think they know shit. I mean, I, I'm you know, sure they do he, a little more, more he, than us, but like, I don't know what the point of the story is anymore. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what the Warframe goal is. Can have a kid. That's not even it. Like, I, I genuinely don't know what we're fighting towards. Like, like, exactly. are we like what save, the fuck are we? Like saving the universe, <laughs> saving the world. I mean, we stopped Ballas, I guess. 
Yeah, like, we're just killing shit for nothing. Like, I didn't realize he was going to blow up the sun until New War. Like, uh... That is true. Wait, we have wait, no motivation why would, to why the fuck we're doing the things we're doing. Why the fuck did he want to blow up the sun? He was going to harness the power of the sun to take, yeah. like, go to tower or something, I think. That was the whole question. I don't, I think, I think so. I'm probably wrong. Again, oh, God, I'm going to get absolutely shit on for this stuff. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. The man in the walls are antagonists. But as far as I know, I just want to go beat his ass. Who the ass. fuck is he anyway? Why is he in I'm the cool wall? With him being, I'm, I'm cool with him being like like mysterious well, and shit. That's half the cool of us. We're going to find out about Man in the Wall more. We're going to okay, find hopefully. out about Albert more. Uh, isn't that what we're fighting for? To stop that motherfucker? I, I think no so, but I don't, we don't know his goal or anything. I, didn't, I mean, at the end of the new war, he appeared through the portal, showed up the Lotus, but that's about all we got. Cool scene, but... Also, where's Lotus now? She's just chilling. She's the yeah. she's the lady in the uh, chair. She's not Lotus no more. She's uh yeah. Nata. Uh that depends on what you chose. Dude, that's when I stopped playing Warcraft. Margulis was when she changed when Lotus left. Us. Mar- a lot I of chose people stopped. Mar- I- Market from Elden Ring? No, I chose Margulis <laughs> because she had cleavage. Yeah, that's what oh, I yeah. heard a lot of people chose. I was like, really, fellas? The other one had cleavage too, but the, you couldn't look at the rest of it. It was weird. Yeah, and plus Margulis had a, you know, a human face. And yeah. made more more sense, and she had cleavage. That's the only reason I chose it. Yeah, I would Otherwise, you could make Ortis into like a wild. chick, dude. Like that'd mm-hmm. be fucking great. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm 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 a Cortana Ortis. Cortana. No, I would no. fucking do that. Fuck dude, yeah. I turn on Ortis right away, dude. Up that volume. <laughs> Yo, she better say, like, you better say something, you know, like, mm, operator, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, man, I mean, f- <laughs> yeah, I'm I sh- free, brother. Uh, yeah, I was just, I was just uh, fashioning uh, Dude, wisp, they would uh, actually probably get a lot of, like, people by doing that, most likely. Just simps, <laughs> dude, just simps. But, like, we got another female, let's fucking do this shit, dude. That's what I'm saying. The only, like, uh, decent female characters. Because, like, I like Lotus when characters? she's kind of, like, in the mission a little bit. It's just... I need different fucking dialogues. I've hear the same shit <laughs> Bro, over and over. Me. Oh my Please, god! Please, I need me. like separate dialogue. Use fucking AI. I don't give a fuck. Use In AI. Generations, dude. Use AI, and then the AI tracks what the fuck you're doing, and then gives you advice on that shit. That'd be so fucking nice. And I'd love to hear that fucking voice dialogue because it's I, gonna be something different. I, I I realize I've played the game for eight thousand hours, and the fact that like I've heard every voice of dialogue is just a it's just a matter of time. And hearing it that many times again, like AI, I said, you won't. You you'd hear something else every time, dude. I, who the <laughs> fuck else is using AI? God, come on, Doc. Come what on, are you dude. sicko. I think that'll be a great fucking thing. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. It just know. depends what she talks about. If she starts talking about weird shit, like I don't know, fucking, you're doing some weird like shit in the game, and she's like, I advise you not to do this or do this. This might work out better. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. E- either way, there's a lot of weird Why do you stuff. Why use your balls? Oh, my bombs. <laughs> Vauban, dude. There, there's a lot of weird stuff with Warframe right now that I feel like mm-hmm. that <sighs> that what it, it's easy for me to say this, especially that because mm-hmm. I don't know how much work has to go into it. But it sounds like they need to put a lot of work in in a lot of different areas. The um, thing is, it's always been like that. What I'm, Warframe but, is not a game about building upon its foundations to implement everything together. It's yeah. about jumping from island to island for the yep. next cool thing. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. And it's just, and I they, think it's starting they, not that it's starting to suffer, it's been suffering from that. I just I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm finally waking up to it a little bit more, or maybe it, it's maybe more people are getting sick of it. I don't know which it is. The thing because I mean, this is it, a very small thing. Ha- they don't but have like, a strong foundation. No. So they're just adding stuff did, onto though. it and it's just breaking apart. Like a buggy Again. shit, uh stories that don't make sense, random fucking items that we have. I'm sorry, Doc, I cut you off. You and all this random Touching fucking it. stuff that doesn't like make sense. They're just adding onto it just because to have it. Because it's the new content. They yeah. just want to keep people for ADHD brain excited. Like, oh, new fucking thing? Let me log into Warframe. They farm it. They like, like, and some people who don't even want to fucking farm, they just buy it because it's, it's just faster. Yeah. I, mean, I, would, I would definitely prefer at this point, and at least me playing the game, is more fleshed out content versus new yeah. content. And I get yes. that that's extremely horrifying for a game. And fixing old stuff. For a game that has done. Oh, I want to say almost nothing but push, push towards that. And again, they're doing a lot of really, I think credit where credit's due. They've been doing a lot of really good QOL that's been long overdue. Yeah. 
I don't want to compliment shit about that. I don't want to compliment the QLL we I, got on the side now. What? Your admit that your Arsenal show. Yeah, that's QLL. Well, that's quality line. I was like, hey guys, eleven years. I was gonna say, like, I, I don't want, I don't want to compliment them too much about stuff that sh mm -hmm. not not specifically even that, but like stuff that Small should thing, have yeah. been done, stuff that we that that should have been done a long time ago. But credit Put where credits toggle. due. Better ne now than never. But still, it should not have taken this long for a lot of things. Yeah. Um, Automatic toggle. Yeah. Auto to me, like, I don't know, maybe it's a very small thing. It's a very small thing that I, I, I don't like, but it's like in Warframe, it feels like you're alone now because Lotus is gone. It used to be that you had Lotus with you and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I don't have like, I don't feel like I have teammates. I, I Warframe, you, you Warframe never had teammates, for a yeah. long time I know, has like, not felt like. You had Lotus and she advised you and like Ortis was, eh. You're the, you're but, the like, main you, character. You don't have that. You feel like you're just doing this shit all alone now, you know? During quests, you, you mean? No, no, yeah, like, and, this, and all that and stuff. And and yeah, oh yeah, and the now, quest like, story, yeah. Yeah. Well, for the longest like time, the quest has been all alone. the past. And before, uh, New War was the end of the Lotus Saga. Like, let's realize yeah. this. For about 10 years here, we've while. been... Holy for about shit, 10 yeah. years, we've basically been playing... We've been basically doing a story... <laughs> not, not, not granted, the, the the cinematic quest didn't hop off as soon as Warframe started, but for about 10 years, the story has been about technically the Lotus. <laughs> And now we're doing a character shift to where now it's actually the playable character, main character, is finally getting started on their story. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. We haven't, we didn't establish much, I, I just want, like, much around you us. Know, like, yeah, I get all. you. We had a companion. He died. Like, I still think Lotus, <laughs> uh, like, getting, uh, taking us back to our orbiter. And Tessian would have like, been so home great. Was the greatest fucking scene today. Say again. I think. That was oh, the best when, scene. When, when she carried you? Yeah, exactly. I think yet, that was like, dude, that, I could watch that scene and play that quest over and over. Why? Because her ass was so fat? No, Hell but like, I yeah, found out who was the fuck view, she though. was, all that shit, and I was like, she's hot. <laughs> I like that shit, dude. I mean, <laughs> but like, it was a, such a big fucking deal when that shit came out. Mm. New War did not have the same impact. We're like, I think the beginning of New War was great. Shit. I still think the, the it was like, really strong. We need to recap on the beginning of New War. <laughs> I enjoyed the beginning of it a lot. I enjoyed the beginning a whole lot. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, what was it? God damn it! What was I gonna say? Oh, uh, oh shit! I'm 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 failing, boys. No, oh, well. what is it? I don't remember. That's what I was saying. I was gonna oh, say something funny. I can't remember for the life of me. You said the beginning of new war. I thought the new beginning of the war was great. Um, <laughs> it wasn't tying to that. It was just. It was just. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They tried to like implement the characters of oh. New War, like Cal and stuff, but it was just, eh. Uh, um. Oh, you're talking about Cal. I think, uh -huh. I think, for example, in, like for story, I think Eternalism is a really neat concept. I also think, to a degree, you could argue it's a really. I think it's a really. It's a way to justify retconning previous decisions with Warframe, which makes. I think quite a bit of sense once you consider like the development cycle of all of these big quests, mm -hmm. etc. There's no way you're going to have the same team, same story, everything working on these things, or oh, yeah. not wanting to change these things over the course of however long this quest and story is going to go. Because if Warframe survives another ten years, and they keep doing quests, Eternalism is basically a really easy way for them to point to this. And I think, I think to a degree, you could argue it. I, I think I, I don't know if I said this, but I was thinking it. But I think to a degree, you could definitely argue that it's a lazy storytelling thing. You know, like Teshin being dead and then suddenly turning around and he's back in a cave. Oh boy. You know, um, is, is really. Isn't eternalism just like the past, future, and all exist? Something like that? I. Uh, <sighs> How do I explain Eternalism and Warframe? Eternalism, Warframe. I, I want him to explain this because the I'm already theory, lost. The theory that He's the like, future Dude, I and know what Eternalism is first. The theory yeah. that the future and past are all are as real as the present and can theoretically be accessed by changing the frame of reference. So you can go back in time, change things, and then go back in the future and change things too. Uh, and it wouldn't. It's basically the, the multiverse. Oh. Um, I, I'm huh. gonna read a Reddit post that apparently is really, really in depth on this. Got 300 whole updates. That dudes. one random two two year old post that helps. Yeah, because he's gonna also, explain it better than I can. 
Yeah, and I mean, here's another thing, right? Like, w- the whole story in Warframe has just been, like, one continuous story that took them a long time to f- mm-hmm. get to a point. And now that we've gotten to that point, it's a completely different arc. They're in a different arc right now. Yeah, like, this arc right now, I don't even know if it makes sense. What I, I, arc I are think- we on now? I th- we're on the Tenno. I I'm, I'm just gonna call it the Tenno arc. We did the yeah. Lotus arc. Now Does we're on the Tenno. 1999 have. Yeah, it's is, the continuation. Is that a man in the wall quest, or is that going back in the time? No, that's gonna be about. That's gonna be about us. Pretty much everything okay. major quest wise is gonna be kind of focused on us. Basically, New War was the end of the Lotus arc, and I think, um, I think Whispers of the Walls did a pretty decent job setting the base up. 1999 is gonna like again. It's hard to criticize the story as is going into this arc just because we've gotten fucking nothing yet. So yeah, 19, you know once we get 1999, I think we'll know a little bit more about... Hope, hopefully we'll know a little bit more about our Warframes. antagonist, what they want. And how, and how I thought maybe Warframes this would have been the great... Properly. Wouldn't it have been great if, like, Man in the Wall was involved with, like, he wanted that kid or something and you knew more background story with him? Because, like, it's a Santine or Orc and whatever it is. I don't think they're going to go that crazy. that's why he wanted that. I don't. Right. I don't think they're gonna do that. I. I. I think. No, no. no. I feel like if that they had done that, you could have known more background in Man of the Wall. I think somebody in my stream brought this up, and I think this would be the coolest way the baby arc could go, <laughs> is that, is that that Hunhao wants the kid. Hunhao somehow mm. will turn the kid, and he'll make us fight, and then he wants to return to Tao, and that that kid will be like his champion. Yeah, we still dude, haven't keep, gone to the Tau dude, system. I keep imagining, you know, the Excalibur, but in the Chibi stickers. I keep imagining we're gonna use the, ki- we're gonna be the kid, and we're gonna look like him and start fighting yeah. around. Dude, everywhere. it'll be, it'll be so cute if we had look like a little like, uh, Companion. tiny Chibi character. Yeah, like a like a Chibi dude, Warframe. You know how we have like Raider, dude. We can use him and like in fights and shit. That'd be so great. But dude, no. imagine like, cause we have Chibi characters already, like in other games. So it, it wouldn't be so bad to have, like a Chibi oh, character in Warframe. That's the other thing was the pet system. And the the pet system were Warframe. I don't feel like I have a fucking pet, by the way. Like it doesn't feel like he's my oh, yeah, companion companions. or like yeah. my pet. No, it feels like a fucking They're just not... a tool. It's yeah, not like you great. know, like in other games, you have pets and you're like, oh, that's cute. That's my guy right there. And he says some cool yeah. dialogue and shit. No, not in Warframe. It does not. If like, my cat talked like to me that. in Warframe, I'd be disturbed. Um, <laughs> Tendo. Oh, God. What are you doing, cool, Tendo? Like, I have a, I, I, I just need a relationship with other fucking people in the fucking game instead of yeah. the operator. Yeah, I feel you. you know? No, I, I, I seriously think the best way the baby arc could go is uh, Han Hao <laughs> uses the them. Baby <laughs> the baby arc, hundred percent, hundred percent Han Hao Ooh. like like turns him against him and have like a really tragic end for that fucking kid. He Maybe returns to town, just like, uses him. We get like an emotional thing when, as he grows up, and we like see him watch him grow. Well, up think and, about like, it. He's like, two? he's like technically the only f- baby frame like ever born. So what if he's just like that super is... fucking powerful and he just Yo, Hana, like, like Hanau like, uses him like as a catalyst? Dude, he has stalker the younger and the jade blood. Frame is, the more no, powerful Shani's they not. are. Like the small frame and the stronger and jade blood. Yeah, and there's probably who knows Hun Hao or something because like he helped with the quest. So I'm guess I don't know who the fuck knows. Hanao basically has been just big chilling in the fucking lake here for like a minute. So if they brought him back like that, I think it'd be great. I I think. Oh, Hanao and the kid. Yeah, I think I I think if like no, I think that would get a lot of people mad because you're like taking away the kids, you know. No, fuck no, daddy. Fuck no, make it make take some risks, make a compelling story. God damn it, they're not doing that. Take some risks, take some risks. Angel, soccer will be the angel on his shoulder, albeit not perfect, but he'll be like he'll be like the pop pop, and then Hunhouse trying to collect Corsum, and be like, no, you need to do this. You'll have a brand new system. It's called Vinland. It's called no, no, Vinland. No. Oh, I'm my placed God. with no more. No, 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 no. Shut up. I think it would be great if, like, once we defeat the man in the wall, because we have to rescue the kid or something from him, and he becomes nah. an important part of the quest. Nope. And we raise him. Like, that's one of the time. One of the quests is, like, no. we spend a year or Yo, man, you or, gotta like, feed him every oh, single like day. Else, else no, not like that. Like, like, you never skip? grow up in, like, a so, timeline, dude. Warframe so pre tag is getting better. You adopted this kid, and it's fucking yours. And I'm not like that, but, like, you know, it's so like. So, pet 1.0. If you don't <laughs> no. feed him enough, he dies. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta <laughs> give him stims. <laughs> and you gotta start all over again. No, but, like, you're like, dude, it's my fucking. I think. You know, I adopted that kid. I think that would be awful. I think that would really? be a waste of the man in the wall. I genuinely uh, see, I'm think thinking so. Like wholesome, dude. Nope. 
I think that'd be. I think. I think. Yo, man, people don't play Warframe for wholesome. They play it so they can <laughs> fucking blow I, shit up and pretend. Yeah. They're on. I think. I think Hun Hao corrupting the child and ultimately player. Stalker having to kill the child or something like that would be a great arc. Oh, dude, that would be fucking think? cool. Okay. That would I'm be. That would be predictions on like what Man in the Wall evil plan probably is like a prediction not probably like a fucking... just something goofy like return everything to one universe or something uh it, it's it gets so wild and wacky with multi dimension when you get into like multi-dimensional beings like it, it, it just gets tough like genuinely to write because it's like i thought he like wanted the void to be everywhere i don't Instead know I, I don't know i i don't I, again i don't think we know his like his like goals or anything yet um Again, it's a thing of like if we ba if we kill him, we're like, well, it's kind of like okay, what could possibly stop us next, or something. I th I think if we beat Man in the Wall and then we turn in like the final arc of Warframe is Tau, like a brand new origin system, etc. That you can toggle between. You're just milking content at that point. No, like I'm talking like a G almost a Warframe two type deal. Mm -hmm. Like electric like boogaloo. And I'm not talking like how we have the railjack system with four fucking planets and eight missions. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking a full blown like DE's been plugging this shit. I think, I think that, I think I, I, that I, I, would be I, I, wild. Like, this is, yeah, this I would, game is I would the foundation love it. of like love it if they years make of work to a different game, basically. If yeah, they, if they I, genuinely came out with that and said this is now war, this is war for, like if. Similar to a Path of Exile 2 thing. So part of the reason Path of Exile 2 is happening is because the systems that they built Path of Exile 1 on, you can't just change a few things and then they do that. It's like genuinely it is flawed from the bottom up in some way. It's a great game, but if you want to change, like you have to go through tons of menus in Path of Exile to get to certain places. So one of the things in Path of Exile 2 that they wanted to fix is less menus, etc., etc., etc. So if they actually if they actually dropped and the other thing is with stuff like that is you can upgrade then you can upgrade engines you can change mm -hmm. engines or something so it'll run better on modern hardware etc. Oh yeah, things like that. Didn't I they think change engines already though. Warframe. Warframe? No, no, they're working on the same one. What I'm saying is like it's it's a really good it's a really good transition point. I think that would yeah. be. Like if you were yeah. like like this is a brand new origin system, you get the original origin systems and all the stuff that works with it on a brand new engine, etc. It's just ran dude, differently, etc. Or if you dude, even drop a lot of work, dude. Oh, it's a shit ton of work. That is dude, that yeah, is having everything monumental. the same and then on a new engine, dude. Dude, I don't think they even have the budget for I that don't know. shit. I don't know. I doubt it. They're one of the most popular free-to-play games. I can see them like games. making a new engine game, except it's everything's new, as in like the whole origin system, that origin system. But if the other thing that you could change with that stuff is like if damage, something like let's say damage attenuation is like really that big of an issue. Warframe mm -hmm. 2 could have a completely different like d way of doing all the this damage stuff. System. Yep. Exactly. It would give them a fresh plate. It would give us a fresh thing to like just start off of. And you if you want you can just have the Tau system, but you could also have the Origin system. So like ex again with Path of Exile 2. I'm going to keep talking and, about this cuz they're doing know, it at amazingly. Yeah, and actually have good, challenging, sustainable content yep. that's not the same yep. fucking missions over and, and over. You know why and there's no point talking so about this? Because yeah. they're going to look at your idea like, and be like, nope. Yep. It's not about them nice looking idea. at my fucking idea. I just like, like oh, thinking about it. We can't do it. We're limited by our engine. Um... Uh, but we have, I mean, I hear you go here. This is a one one thing I I brought up in in my other video. Like, there's a game, right, that is catered for literally a lot of fucking players, right? And if you wanted to do hardcore content, if you want to do challenging content, if you want to do PvP, if you just want to RP, you want to do quests, you want to do mm -hmm. events, blah blah, you can. Everything is balanced around that. Guild Wars Two is one of the most very well designed games like anybody can jump into and you can go mm. and you can go and do, do stuff whenever you want like someone who doesn't want to do raids and just wants to pvp you can go in there you can farm ascendant gear you can farm legendary gear and and that's it like it's so good like someone who just does raids you don't even have to touch pvp at all and you still have gear but if you want the gear and stuff from uh the the, the corresponding activities you're gonna have mm. to do the activities but you're not held back on what you like to what you choose to do and what you like doing you just play what you like yeah no the again uh... play with my body yeah if you like playing with your balls you can just play with your balls and you get rewarded for it mm. <laughs> 
That's guys. huge. <laughs> wait, yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> my my thing Legit. again. The reason why I brought up Path of Exile too is I wonder if a lot of a lot of what they're doing right now is really constrained. Like again, changing damage numbers, attenuation, how you fight enemies, etc. So more consolidation. Is there a completely right? different. I love system. attenuation. When people go like, no game uses attenuation. It's a shit mechanic. Why it, does Warframe ever implement this? It, and I'm wondering no, if all of these, a lot of those it. issues that they're stuck, that they're just stuck with them, just because of how they have built the game from the bottom up. So if they tried to, mm -hmm. if they tried to change it right now and how the game is, it just would break everything. So if they wouldn't did, it be scary, a but thing, wouldn't they have to make it so that the new game can just run fluidly without the past game? Because otherwise, motherfuckers yeah, would have to catch tough. up on 11 years of content. So, so how path, so how Path of Exile Two is doing it, I think, is very good. Any, my, any. Any microtransactions in terms of like cosmetics, etc., any of that stuff, um, will move over to the second game. So if you bought like a skin, you no, do no, it. I'm at the storyline. The storyline would my, just my deluxe four skin to get passed on. Like, <laughs> would you need to play like 15 years of content? How I would do it is I would probably just you would probably just need to do either a time skip or you just play a new character completely. Like, you play a new war, you just set it up differently. You start off in Tau or something or wherever. You'd have to set it up differently. How Path of XL2 is doing is a, a time skip somehow, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then you just have, you'd have to start off the game with, it would have to have a lot of the same content Warframe currently has. So you would start Warframe 2 off with 51 Warframes. Like, right out yeah, of the yeah, gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that would, that so, alone, that alone would be fucking insane. Like, same Warframes, maybe they work a bit different, maybe they have a bit new abilities, etc. Yeah, definitely redesign yeah, like the Warframes, rework the exactly. Here's 5, the problem, years though, or something, and, like, everything's good, and now the system needs help again. Yeah. If they don't use Warframe to pad their content updates, and we know that they do this not because it's a good idea. They do it because they literally can't ship content faster than that, so they pad it up yep. this way. How are they going to ship content for Warframe 2? If we already have 51 Warframes to play. Are uh, they really going to go down? Let's just keep adding another Warframe. I'm not, even, I'm not trying to solve Here, that for uh, them. That's uh, not uh, my uh, job to I'll, solve. I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing, right? Everybody's going to hate me for this. Make it half free and rest of the like bigger updates paid for. I think that's fine. <laughs> well, that's not even my People concern. My concern is... Skins it, and shit on like, Warframe and you can throw as much yeah. money at them you want. The problem is how long it takes literally two yeah years. because Make if you have a bigger because if they have more money they'll have a bigger dev team Dude, and they'll dev work team on is not small they they've got like a 300 it's some 300 person plus dud. people yeah it's not small it's not a small yeah, team it by should not be taking, not an no no one, one question is that 300 they people a ton of money in like for their warframe skins and or is it or is it split between we, we, we have no idea what the split Originally, is between split before it was warframe specifically because this not, number is almost two years old Yes, but that doesn't mean that they haven't been working on. So there's no way they just shit out Soul Frame in a year. First off, so they have they've oh, been working. Uh, I think they're being ambitious. I don't think Warframe's shipping next. No, year. no, 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 no. Fuck I know no. Soul Frame. I my don't point think Soul is, shipping my next point year. is, you don't just you don't just poop out a game. It's it's a thing of they've probably had those 300 employees and they've been scaling those 300 or up to 300 to make something so they can support a second game. They yeah. didn't just suddenly have that and be like, all right, you guys are going to go work on this. No, you hire for the project. You don't and just... And also, don't if, know, if man, they get more we money, they, they can have an entirely tile. new engine. We went from you know? normal tiles to planes to railjack. I yeah, feel like I'm, a I, lot of those hires were specifically for Warframe as they well. They can be. You can hire for both. Warframe. I'm just saying that they, they didn't just suddenly take half the team and divide them. What I'm I saying, still think that with the <laughs> workforce of that size, it should not take three to four months to ship the amount of content we get in the three to four month period. Again, literally every single other live service game I play ships more content in less time. Not just faster, not just more, but no, faster and more. Uh, that, again, that gets into uh, we have no idea what the split of Amen. the split of people working in working where. Is happening. We have no idea how many people are working on Soul Frame. What how about before Soul Frame? Before they announced it. Again, even before that. Like again, they what didn't. What about four years ago? Sure, they make, weren't three hundred people Warframe four years ago. At that point. <laughs> like I can't speak to that. Like I have no idea what they were at four years ago. You they probably started 300. as one hundred employees when Genshin launched. Yeah, great. That's impressive. I don't know what to say about that. Congratulations. They update every six weeks. Wonderful. What do the updates entail? You, 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 you want to know why new they update maps, a lot? New game modes, 
new content, new story. They got that gotcha money, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna say, you're basically looking at a bottomless <laughs> well of money. Has the, Warframe has the backing of Tencent now. That doesn't mean Tencent so just shits out it, money for them. No, no, no. DE no, has 200 what employees. What this means is, so long as they can produce stuff that works on the charts, then Tencent will be willing to fund it. Not always. The, typically, well, typically, if only, you make this much money, they have, though. if you make X yeah. amount of money, they will they will give you X amount of money. It's not just like they'll just keep dumping money in. That's not how these and companies Warframe work. Warframe makes a fair bit of money. I'm not saying they don't, but in terms of like That's profit, how much do they profit? They've got a 300 person team. They need to pay for those people. They need to pay for all these things. I, we have no like again. The other thing is is like you games. May, I am willing. I am a hundred percent willing to bet the people who are working on things like Genshin work way more hours than the people yeah, who work on Warframe. Asian. Exactly. Yeah. The work. You the sleep? culture Fuck of work. Sleep? Exactly. The culture of work between the the uh, east and the west is completely different, especially you in know these what industries. That doesn't change though. What was that? The, the product for a, how implementations uh, are added into the game because agreed. you can say east versus west is different but east versus west we have stuff like what is it oh my god lost ark and diablo 4 <laughs> both of which have some very obvious glaring issues mm -hmm. irrespective mm -hmm. of which side of the planet that it came from yeah they have different so issues though, too. i don't think the work habits from each side of the globe has any impact on is this a good idea to implement this for the players or not that's not the argument i'm making you were talking about how fast the content gets out etc the quality of content that's what i'm talking the quality of the content working way more it, hours on the content within those six weeks is a hundred percent way more i don't mean yeah. quality in the sense of is it bugless i mean quality in the sense of is this even enjoyable to play to start i'm with? not even talking about the quality and i'm talking about the rate anti you are going to put out, if you work double the amount of hours as the person working next to you, you are going to probably do double the amount of work. If the vision of implementation is shit, then it's still going to turn out shit, even if you I'm, work hard. Yeah, ex uh, sure. Which is no, but what he's I'm just saying. talking about rate, as in like... You were talking about they're putting out. out content at six weeks yeah. compared to Warframe's about quarterly like, rate. It doesn't matter if the content is shit, it's just the rate I'm, I'm not talking... What was there, like, what is in there, though, is what I'm saying... In the sense of, like, the content that ships is actually enjoyable as a whole. Okay. Yeah. Whereas a lot of the content we get in Warframe, I know there's a lot of people listening around that are probably going to shit on me for this. A lot of the content that ships in a new update, I find is just wholly unenjoyable to start with. And there's pockets of parts I love, parts that I think are fine. But there are a mm -hmm. lot of parts where I look like, why would you ever think the player base would enjoy doing this? I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I again it gets hard because I think I think there's updates where there's it's obvious. I think you too much road. <laughs> yeah. I, I think uh -huh. there's obvious. You can tell how many people worked on the call update and put the time in for the call update versus the new war update. You can obviously tell I'm sure about the amount of people that put the time in for the whispers in the wall update compared to the people that put the time in for this update. Yeah. I do not have the same issues with this quest that I have with the Whispers in the Wall quest. So what I what think I, I think is happening oh is you're getting these small groups of people saying we need a quest here or we need a bit of content here. You're a small group. You're going to throw this out. And then the majority of people that work on Warframe within the, within the, the studio focus on something like 1999. I think that's the majority of the split. What I want to know is who was the dumbass that decided after they worked on part one of New War, oh, because God. it has three parts, right? Yep. Who was the one that decided, let's rewrite this, and we need to speed it up so we can ship it? I'd because say that happened more around two. was probably my favorite. Yep. Part two was okay. Part three was a whole, what the yeah, actual we about fuck this. is going on? Yep. No, I and think... I th th this is one of the issues I have with it, because... I think that they yeah, look at, the quest was yeah. already four to six hours long. I think what happened was they realized the scale of it and that they that it was just way too much. So they were like, by part so by part two you can tell things are speeding up. By part three, it runs into the problem that the stalker quest ran into of just fucking just hit all the points, get it done, 
There you go. We're we're clear. We're good. Wrapped up. Like <laughs> like realize like it's it. I think that's most obvious that it was a time crunch towards the end when you look at what came with the new war guys. Bounties. What came with Dude, that? Narmar, fucking nothing. Narmar fucking bounties. Fucking was, was nothing but wasteland. our. Yeah, nothing came after that. I, th I think that thing uh, that alone speaks more time crunch than anything else. And, and the also, thing to they me bugged is the that fuck out of planes. Yeah, remember Didn't, this was not like guys. We're sorry, we shipped the update here. No, it was a. This has been delayed by a year and then delayed by another yep. half a the, year. It this, came one and a half years late and was still like this. Grant, Grant, didn't it release like COVID? This was like, like a, like a bit of grace for COVID, but still, this is something that should like this has been in the works for like years, years. This is the thing that I've always said about Warframe. It's that it's not that what I like and what I don't like. It's that mm. somehow you give them a certain amount of resources to design an update. Mm -hmm. And it always ends up eating more resources than required or more time to required and produces less. Yep. And it's like, I don't understand why it's something we have to accept, which is why I think that when people are like, what, what it, would it be fixed if it's Warframe 2? And it's like, I don't think so. Because you fix the engine by moving to Warframe 2. Yeah. But unless you rehire a whole team, brand new people, you're going to have saying. the same type of office environment and ideology on how to approach and create develop content the games. For the new game. Yep. And it's still going to have the same outcome of the game might feel different, but we're still going to have the situation of yep. you throw more money of it, less stuff comes out, and it's still not as you'd expect. Uh, and it's... I think for me, it was it, me, mainly just because I know it could be more. Yep. I, I, for me, it was a thing of like, I think it could solve a lot of issues that we're seeing now of like them trying to deal with damage situation, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think it could solve those issues. I get the point you're making of even if they made the new game and it was great, that's not going to suddenly change how they approach building and making and molding the content. Like, yeah. we're a product of, like, Warframe currently is a product of the decisions made, like, let's do this. And it's like, okay, now we're stuck with it. Like, damage attenuation, etc. It's been just built upon, right? Mm -hmm. That's the point I think you're making, is, like, people with, that are, like, the foresight for it. Um, yeah. I mean, like, that's, that's, yeah. I totally agree with that. Like, there's no point <laughs> building another game if it's just gonna be built similarly be the same thing yeah you have to change it up or if uh, this my is also my thing is that for <sighs> go ahead go ahead <laughs> this is also where i say that for people that have issues with the game and stuff and whatnot like the thing that i just explained is something that you need to understand and accept and if it's not something you can accept then you'll never be happy about warframe <laughs> then there's just some that's people part are just of the like reason why I, it's like hard people, like why so many bad things to say about the game and that's like it's not that i don't like the game it's that I see the pros and cons, and I've accepted what the pros and cons are, but I still like the game enough, I'll still play it. That doesn't mean I agree with everything that happens, but there's enough of the game I like that I see a reason to be here and play. I think my internet is dying, because everyone's turning yeah. into pixels. Yeah, yes. I, oh, I thought I was the only one. Yeah, your voice yeah, is... Uh, are uh, you all dying? Too. Yeah, we're all dying. Yeah. Oh wow! That God, God's that's, that's mad at us. I was like, all right, maybe the internet wouldn't be as de bad. De sending in their strike team. <laughs> They've like, heard hey, us guys, talking shit. I thought I was the only one. I'm like, oh shit! Is this is this is this me? No, is this, this is getting me? bad on my end. Like so the audio starting to croak. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I think it's Discord. You guys want to like relaunch? Like, like. Uh, I, I mean, like we're about said, an hour thirty he's in. He's listening. It uh, seems pretty yeah. steady for me now-ish now, or... Okay. No, you're still voice cutting back. Nah, video for, for, is yeah, yeah. No, I hear the voice cracks. You've told, turned yeah, totally Mr. Roboto. Yeah, dogs. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I hear the voice cracks. It's, it's like when you just hit puberty. That's what it yeah. sounds like. <laughs> Are we good? Or do we want to end it here, or do we want to try and relaunch? No, we're good. Well, it's up to you guys. Like we're at 130. I, I think we're st starting to become a little circular. We didn't yeah. talk that much about Destiny yeah, 2, but we did another Warframe podcast. I mean, I knew it was going to be a Warframe talk yeah. today because of the quest, so like, I was already prepared. I'm like, ah, shit. Let's get in here, guys. Completely different games, but Destiny all, has better all in, end game content. That's <laughs> All in all, 
I would personally yeah. really love to talk to someone who makes a lot of those decisions at DE. Just like genuinely understand a lot of that stuff, I guess. Oh, dude, you I know would, how that would, that would be like a huge podcast. I would, I would, like a big love. Dude, I don't even care if it's not a podcast. I just like to sit down and talk. I, I would record like, it. I would record it as a talk. I'd, t I'd take questions like like lists and stuff. Like, there's gen genuinely, I, I think that would be a really insightful and like interesting thing to learn. Like, because it, mm -hmm. I can make a million speculations and they could be complete bullshit. I'm not, I'm not a game dev. I don't want to pretend like I know what the struggle of being a game dev is like. But also at the same time, like, a, a lot of stuff, a lot of criticisms I have about the game come from a lot of frustration Bro, you gotta and hit DD love. Up on Twitter. On Twitter, yeah. Yeah. That's you're you're a Warframe creator. Companies. Oh, you're right. All that Twitter I use. Yeah, you, you get all the burden of this. Yeah. I, I, I would ask... Oh, smart, dude. Oh, well, actually, they might not do it. Now? Actually, actually, they might... They probably definitely will not because of these two. Yeah, it's the like... Funny, oh, the funny yeah. thing is... It's like, that Nightmare Frame guy? Fuck that guy. The funny thing is, I, I would love... Mm -hmm. I would love to do like invite a DE ca uh, staff member onto the podcast and then I would just love Pablo it, to it, come on, you know, introduce them as a DE staff member and then just ask them, just don't talk about anything Warframe, don't even <laughs> anything mention Warframe. Mention it. Yeah. Kind of I mention like, it they, what, what they, the game, dude. Can we get Reb in here? She's playing Elden Ring, dude. I want to talk to that dude. No, dude. I, I, what are you gonna say? You're gonna talk to who? That what? what? I, no, no. I think we all no. pretend like Warframe never existed and just be like, D, digital, they, this is an employee for Digital Extremes. They've worked on Unreal Tournament, Unreal Tournament 2 and 3. Uh, they've also are working on this Soul Frame thing. Really neat. Uh, how you doing, man? Just like, no, not even a mention. <laughs> like, Don't even oh, mention yeah, Warframe. It's like, just talk about no, other shit, dude. We just like, talk what about else the game do? dev life. You know, what's your daily life like when you're Yeah, don't ask a them dev. a single oh, yeah. question about, Dude, about I would that. I really want to know what's happening like, like with game devs, like how they go about it. Because I worked a little bit when it came to like animation and mm. production within animation and filmmaking. Uh, I did a lot of like uh, storyboarding and, and a bit of concept art. So I know that <laughs> process, but... I don't know if it's uh, if there's some similarities when it comes to game yeah. development. I, I've listened yeah. to a lot of really it's nice. like uh, it's like the whole anime world where they're getting overworked, like in Mappa, and they're like, "Yeah, guys, I, I can't <laughs> even sleep. Man. I'm getting work like 14 hours a day." I, I, I've listened to a lot of developer podcasts. There's one uh, and, and like deve like listen to devs talk, etc. Because I th I think I think the process and a lot of that stuff is really cool, but I don't want to yeah. sit here in armchair dev like. Well, I know from listening to this podcast that you know, yes, it's, it's I'm stupid. I'm quite knowledgeable. Nah, dude, you just get the fucking, no, do you just get the dude in here and we just talk like we normally do? That's yeah, no, all no, no. Is, I, I, yeah. There's a really interesting one with like the guy oh, who shit. like. Oh, um, shit. How much do we reduce the cussing? Uh, a lot. Um, beeps like, we don't like, you know, the there's no. No, like, we're going to make oh, it so they can swear. Fucking, you know, information yeah. out of you to get clout or something or like go viral. No, no, no. Just fucking yeah. normal fucking talk shit. Yeah. Just chilling, vibing, I, I, just feel yeah. comfortable. That was kind of, well, I mean, that's been the whole point of this is I don't, I didn't want it to like devolve into what I wanted to be whatever we want to talk about. And it was like, I don't want like the podcast to turn into like agenda. Like, don't we make have to it be an super clean. To, like, figure out Dude, this everything. is a bunch yeah. of guys getting together, talking shit, and then getting off. For me, when I was going to, I wanted to Getting do, off? Hey, yo. Yeah, we can do that I'm too. That's going to be the Tenocon podcast between me and Az. Getting oh, off. Oh shit, you an ass? I still ask. Yo, do you have can, a printer? Can we, can we get some of that? Do I what? Do you have a printer? Yeah. <laughs> you do? Okay. Is it do color? What? Just print as his logo yeah. out and blast it on his face. No, I can so... send you like my 2D high no. saturation ass print if you want. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking, so for Tenocon, um, if you're, st if you're staying after this year, I remember I tried to, like, bribe you into staying for dinner last time at Tenocon. You should, we should all schedule the podcast for, like, after Tenocon, or, like, you come over, or I'll come pick you up or something, and then we just do a podcast, and then just, like, I'll bring my camera, or another camera, and then just, we Dude, just share a you mic. You can have multiple podcasts, too, because remember, Spandy's going, Higgs is going, I think Who? Tib is going. A bunch of uh, other streamers and stuff. Oh, okay. I, I was just thinking, literally, just, just, literally, just one camera on Az's like printed out photo, and then we just share a <laughs> mic. That way he's there. 
He's there in person. At that point, just put it post. He's there dude, with just you put in, it post, in spirit. Dude. No, no, no. That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. He joins. No, no. It's, it's, it's the same dude, photo. It's dude. not the same photo. I think photo. that'd be hilarious. Uh, I think that'd be great. Anybody fucking giant paper and put him behind it and put him next to you. I was thinking about room. asking if he could get, if he has like a cardboard cut out of himself, but I was like, nah, it's too much. That's a lot of narcissism right there. Uh, and any, any gotcha Andy's understood that reference? It's not the same photo. No, you're, you're weird. <laughs> oh, mint picking IRL. Oh, damn, it's gotcha not there. the same photo. Wait, it, it is the same photo. Oh, you were telling me about this. Yeah, no, I think that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> if you'd be willing to do that. Obviously, like, if if you even remotely, like, your fucking pinky toe comes in here, I'll just edit it, like, blur it. What? Whoa, where are you pointing the camera what? at, dude? Yeah, exactly. How it's did a you... It's a you, foot dude, podcast. Dude, if you just do Didn't a chest, right, and have him just put a fucking... Make Mass. a fucking cardboard box and put a fucking Minecraft just, head just, on it. Is he, he, he going to be fucking, like, uh, Marshmallow? <laughs> that'd, that'd be really fun. But, yeah, no, yeah, it just, it, we just, we just literally... Right. Have him in the same room as me and him because we'll like both be there. Also, I like how we're making this shit. We're not even asking him what do you want to do. We're just like, no, yeah. you do this. As is as is playing Warframe, he's not even talking right now, man. Well, would I don't you, know would you, you be down for that? Say, I'm listening on this. I'm just yeah, the cardboard cutout. Would you would, like? You print out a piece of paper. We'll put it on. Uh, we'll put Kira a camera on it. Cosplay stuff. Yeah, Kira cosplays. Could Kira, 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 Kira could get on the yeah, podcast. Make a mess. We could, if she prints, if you can Bro, print out Kira's logo on too. Her own. I, I don't think you realize how long it takes to make. No, I've been watching her. I've been lurking in there, dude. She's been. I can't just. When like, does she ask stream? Her, like, like I don't. I don't like. It's like for me. It's like the middle of the night uh, at three a.m. So I'm like, oh, she's yeah, doing. She's been doing cosplay streams recently. She, three a.m. She she's what making a. Fuck? She's making a. What, what? Well, I know what cosplay. I don't know she if she said stream, like normal time. What? What? She changed now. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know if I can say what cosplay she's making, Stay so I'm not going. Oh, I already to. know what she's don't making. Don't ever we change. Can, can really see it. So well, yeah. I just don't know if she said it yet, so I don't want to be that guy. Um Commission her for something. Yeah, fucking weird guy. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, if she was like Would down this, for it, wait, like yeah, everyone just gets a printed piece of paper. I don't, I don't think you should use that lighting. What lighting anymore? Why? Yeah, you're more, you're going back to being a ginger again. Going <laughs> back to being a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he really is. What do you? Oh come God. on, dude. You guys no, he got a new camera so he wouldn't look. That's not one of the specific reason, but I th I love that everyone that's thinks that's why. You changed your thing to Luffy? No, Chuppa was cute. That it for the podcast this week, fellas? Yeah. I think so. I think it's a good place to end it. Now that we know you're ginger, I think we can end it. All right, pregnant hey, man. Uh, <laughs> what if I get like a trying hexagon-shaped mask? If you got a mask, honestly, I'll yeah, go for, I'll go with whatever one you want to do, and I we'll just see, figure it out from there. I want to see his face. You're not gonna see his, unless he You're suddenly rips going, it dude. off. I want to see. I'm, I'm not. Now. I'm not giving He's you. Not rips it off and it's a road, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. It's a picture of me. Now Skin I want to see. Rips it off. What's the fuck? When he takes the mask off, shit? dude. And then is he like really fucking, Asian uh, or is he? What, what is? if when you take off the hexagon <laughs> underneath it is another hexagon? Like that'd that be hilarious. Thing in Halo Three at the end when he takes his helmet off and people are like, "Let me, let me like mod the game and edit the camera so I can see off." And he takes his ha helmet off. It's another helmet under. <laughs> yeah. They basically just modeled a helmet for him to hold in his yeah. hands instead of actually. There's a lot of games that do stuff like that. Exactly that. that. Um, yeah, no, that's I'm not so gonna funny. put any pressure on you to, like, show oh, your face I mean, or anything. If you got a mask yeah. for it, that'd be sick. Even if you don't- I, I just want you to print Dude, a piece of paper. just wear sunglasses and a mask and a hat, you're good. That's what he did at Tenocon, except glasses. Yes, the most conspicuous way. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, he looked like a freak going in there. Yeah. Like, it's like it's one like of those weird, like, yeah, like, that. dude, he would look like a fucking peeping Tom it's, or it's so weird. What, what the fuck? Yeah. So that's about it from us, though. Thanks for joining us. Like, comment, yeah, thanks. subscribe. Yeah, we, cool. we started talking about taking shit in public toilets to then talking about Warframe. The important stuff first, of course. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bye. Are we done? Doc. Yeah, bye. Have a good one. Thanks bye. for yeah, you we'll should end it one. for us. Make no, sure as to join next as, podcast for no, no, let 79.5% of you are not subscribed. Bye. <laughs> I think it's like 99. Cuz I'm gonna be honest, I don't want anybody in fucking I... Warframe anymore. <laughs>